The Gospels are critical to Christianity because Jesus is critical to Christianity. The Gospels tell the narrative of the Son of God. Without these books telling us the story of Jesus, the rest of the Bible just doesn't really make sense. Without Jesus, the Old Testament has no end. The story of the fall, the struggles of the people of Israel, the cries and the yearnings of the prophets for their Messiah, they find no relief. They find no end for their pain without Jesus. In the same vein, the New Testament is meaningless in the absence of Christ. The stories of the early church, the letters of Paul and the apostles, and the teachings and wisdom that they passed down, all of it has no meaning without Jesus as their foundation. Without Jesus, the Bible becomes nothing more than the tragic story of doomed humanity, destined to spend eternity apart from God. But we know the story of Jesus. The Gospels tell us the story of the Son of God, of his life, his teachings, and the miraculous things he did. They tell the story of his love through his sacrifice, his undeserved death as a perfect atoning sacrifice for our rebellion. And ultimately, they tell the story of his resurrection and his call for us to follow him, to build his church and to make disciples of all nations. To be a Christ follower, we must first know Christ, and we can only do this through the Gospels. There's so many different archetypes we see in the Old Testament, different characters from Abraham, Moses, Noah, Samson, right? All these who share qualities kind of come as a savior-esque figure, but they fail. And Luke is kind of a different from the other Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and uh, John, in the sense that it's more evidence, eyewitness, right? Like it's particularly that way, the way it's written from a physician's perspective. And there's one quote that I think it very much sums up the mission of Jesus, that the Son of Man came to seek and save what was lost, right? That it doesn't matter what you do for a living or have you or your personal, you know, whether it be outside infirmities or, you know, if you're in a position that's looked down on by society, that Christ comes for your heart, right? And does not judge from the outside, but comes from the inside. If you love someone here on earth, you want to know everything about them. Where do they come from? Why do they do the things you do? And if we want to pursue our relationship with Jesus Christ, the Gospels are where we go to look for who he is, his birth, his life, his ministry, his death, and his resurrection. So the Gospels, including the Gospel of Luke, give us that opportunity to really know who our Savior is and why we follow him. Belief is in Jesus, right? And those focus on his life. And so studying that and hearing different people's insights, I think, is um, very beneficial for our growth as Christians. When you look at the Gospels, you see that Jesus was very relational. And he was always going to people's houses and having meals with them. The Jewish custom, it allowed you to basically say that, you know, I see you as a friend and I'm going to eat a meal with you. It was a sign of peace and acceptance. At first, he's like, why are you eating with sinners? And he's like, well, I, I came for the sick, not the healthy. And I'm here to get to know people. So Thursday nights is about that. It's about community. And I think we see that in how Jesus lived his life and how he then left the gospel to 12 men that were his community and then sent them out. The upcoming weeks, we're gonna be looking at one of the biographies of Jesus. In Luke's gospel, we have some of the more famous stories. Only he records of things like the Good Samaritan and the prodigal son and the rich man and Lazarus and uh, Zacchaeus and those. So we're gonna be focusing in on those uh, special things in Luke's gospel and would love for you to join us. Grace Young Adults, Thursday night, 7 p.m. in the venue.